Hey. I felt the power. I felt the power. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat. Welcome to Behind the Desk. I ain't gonna always be at work behind the desk because I got a lot of desks. You know what I'm saying? This is the studio. This is behind the desk is where everything goes down. Um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let everybody else know what's going on. Um, hit the notification bell as well. And uh, let's get into it. Today we want to talk about music. I'm going to talk a little bit about my music before the game comes on at 1 o'clock. Uh, Browns, Bengals. Um, definitely doing a recap after that. But I wanted to give you all some, some insight on what goes down over here before I went to work. Because I got to go to work today as well. But yeah, this is my little setup. This is where it all, all happens. I'm going to play some of my... I'm not going to play none of my new stuff. I might play like one new joint just to sample it. Just to, uh, for you guys to hear a sample of it. But... Um, a lot of my intro that's on the page. I want y'all to check them Jones out, man. I did some stuff for Pretty Money, uh, Vada Fly, uh, EJ. Um, I'm working on some other ones for some uh, for some key people as well. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, just wanted to talk to y'all about music, or not music per se. My music. I really don't get in tune with judging everybody else's movie music. A lot of other people's music I like, a lot of people's music I don't. I'll just be honest, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm, I'm not what you say universal, like I like all music. I can't really say that. I'm not gonna say that and lie to you like everybody else would and be like, oh man, I listen to everything. I don't, I don't listen to everything. If it's not hot to me, I'm not bumping it. That's just, just a fact, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but that's just my opinion. That's not saying that it's not dope or anything, but just to me, it wouldn't be in my, CD player or my flash drive or my whatever we listen to our music on. It won't be on my phone. I'll say that. Um, but I've been doing this music thing for years, man. Uh, this episode three, by the way. Uh, I've been doing this music thing for years. It's like maybe 2006, maybe. Um, maybe 2006, something like that. But I wasn't serious with it. I was always making beats. I made beats first. Definitely was in a band. Um, started making beats. I was playing in the drums, playing playing drums in the fifth grade, uh, and it all went from there to going to McKinley, uh, playing in the drum line at McKinley from ninth to twelfth grade, um, and then continued on after. Uh, my big brother Rashad and uh, Duran Polk uh, was always making beats. I was making beats with them. They got me into the game as far as the making beats is concerned. Remember when we was making beats on Tritons, making beats on Trinities saving them on the floppy drive. My Uncle Bird had me making beats at his house uh, using the old Fruity Loop or losing, um, I forget what we was making beats on. I forgot we were sampling. I was making beats on his keyboards, all that. I was just making beats all the time. So I used to be known to make the beats. You know what I'm saying? It was a beezy banger, baby. That's what it was. And your project couldn't come out unless it had one of my beats on it. You know what I'm saying? And that was a long time ago because so many other people would have passed me on the beat game. I'm, I just got some new equipment, so now I'm about to be back in the beat joint. But it took a long time. I ain't made a beat in a long time. But hopefully it's like riding a bike and I get back on and everything is good. <laughs> We're going to see. But um, yeah, man. But I started doing music. Uh, I did Christian rap, gospel rap, as y'all call it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started that. That's how I started. That's how I came out. Uh, my rap name was Pat Tan at the time. And I was doing, I was rapping in almost everybody's church rapping at everybody's event, any church event or whatever, I was there. I was like one of the main dudes in Ohio that was rocking. I did this winter fest in Cleveland, man. Had like all the Christian hip hop artists from Cleveland up there, man. We did this event. It was so dope. Uh, DJ Ronnie Knight was the DJ and stuff like that, man. Shout out to all of them. Cleve, Big Cleve, Captain Virtue, Bumps Infinite. Uh, it, it was, whew, the God's Child. Uh, it, it, it was, we had probably like 15 or 16 artists on that joint. It was it was fire. One of the best events I feel that I've ever put together for as far as me putting an event together. Now, not one of the best events I've ever been to, but it was crazy. Like if it, it, it was like it felt like all of Cleveland was there. How many people was in that joint, man? It was it was rocking. That joint was definitely fun. But um, yeah, I started with that, and I still like uh, I still do uh, Christian rap or gospel rap, but I don't really call it that no more. I took a ceiling off. You know what I'm saying? My music was always aimed at the church, labeled at the church, aimed at the church. Just everything was just church, 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 church. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It was always that. 
But it, it wasn't always that. And to tell you the truth, and, and that, that's what's crazy. That's why I'm talking around right now because that's what's crazy because a lot of my music, I didn't say Jesus a lot in my stuff or whatever. And I used to get dogged for that. Like, oh, you're not a Christian rapper because you didn't say Jesus in your music. I used to always get dogged like that. I was big on how I do my music now is how I was doing my music in the church. It was punchlines everywhere. I was just, that's all I knew. I came in this game based off of Fabulous, Cassidy, uh, Ludacris, my favorite artist, T-Pain. Like, these were the people who I listened to before I picked the pin up. So when it came to bars, I, that, I, that's all I was. That's all who I was. Fabulous, bars. Cassidy, bars. Uh, Ludacris, bars. Com comedy in the way I'm just being alive on this beat. T-Pain with the auto-tune and stuff like that. That's just, that's my background. That's how I used to rock. That's how I rock. And as you could, you could tell some of my music that I ain't, I ain't swayed from that at all. I'm still there. You can hear a little ludicrous in my stuff. You can hear a little T-Pain in my stuff. You can hear some Cassidy bars and stuff like that. You can hear, you can tell, if I tell you that's who I listen to, you can be like, dang, I could tell. Especially ludicrous. That's my favorite artist. Um, um, oh, you like how that, that sun is beaming down like that? That was dope. Um, but um, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, no, that's how my music was. A lot of cats, even Christian artists that I knew, was like, man, you, uh, we don't know about you for sure because you never really be talking about Jesus and stuff like that in your music. And it's and it's been it was like that for a long period of time, man. Like, really, like I I would have to throw it in there just so they could label it as Christian music. But then it comes down to this, like what's what, why do we define Christian music as Christian music? Why do we define gospel music as gospel music? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, B, B, and C, C, uh, um, the whinings and stuff like that, they got albums on top of albums when Jesus' name is not even mentioned. Is that a marketing tool? Because the only time you hear them say Jesus or anything of that nature was on TBN if you've seen them on TV. Other than that, if they're performing live, you don't hear Jesus' name coming out of there at all. They're not saying that that's not who they was rocking with or nothing like that, but when it came to music and you seen that that wasn't the, uh, mentioning mentioning God's name wasn't selling CDs or wasn't selling or the radios was, was announcing it. They wasn't letting you play it. And so if they dropped CDs that didn't have his name in it, like one of my same, like one of my favorite songs by BB and CC is I Know I Owe You Me. Or that whole CD, I forget what that whole CD was called, but that whole CD was fire. There was no God mentioned in that CD. Did we just move it to another genre? Or did you feel the energy? Did you sense the spirit that they were talking about in the first place? That's what, is that where, that's, is that how music is supposed to be created? And if that's the case, I've been doing that for the longest. So why would you try to force me into making music the way that you want me to make it? Maybe I was on to something a long time ago and y'all was like, nah, 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 because you was bleached thinking that this is how music was supposed to be made. Or, like I said, is it a marketing tool? Because if you're looking at it as a lifetime situation, because even though Christian music or gospel music or whatever is, is big, it's not big enough to keep food on your table unless you big time. If you're not big time, then your fan, your fans... They shrink. Your fan base can't be as big as you want it to be because you're limiting it by putting a cap on what you can talk about. Now, let's say somebody like DMX. I remember when DMX did every album. He always ended it with a prayer. Or he did the one joint, Lord, give me a sign. Or even when Missy had a Christian C, a Chris, I don't know why they keep labeling a Christian song, but a, 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 a positive, uplifting song at the end of her album. But the whole rest of the album wasn't Christian or positive based, which what you would call Christian or positive based. So if her whole project wasn't that, but she put that at the end, that's proof that it's possible that you can do that. She just proved that she could do that type of music if she wanted to. That's just not the energy that she was feeling at the time. But she can do it. She still so she still um she's still acknowledging uh, yeah, acknowledging where she's where where her talent came from. Even if she only did it for one song off the whole project. At least she did it. A lot of y'all don't even do it. Y'all don't even pay homage 
to where the t talent came from. You just like, man, I, I did it because it was me. No, it's not because of you. No, it's not because of you. It's a talent that was put in all of us. Who put it there? Like, let's, 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 let's not do that. Let's not be like, oh, well, I went to school for it, so that's why I'm a beast. Who gave you the knowledge to even know about going to school to begin with? The brains to actually articulate what's going on in those classes for you to even, for you to even adapt it, adapt to what you're trying to learn to be what you're trying to be. Who gave you that? It wasn't you. So if it wasn't you, and you can't give the knowledge, you can't get the knowledge out, and that's what I'm, and that's the thing. And since it wasn't you, and it was it 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 would be from God or from whatever creator you believe in or whatever, you you want to give back to by saying thank you. You know what I'm saying? I owe it, I owe it all to you for you giving me here. Does not mean that you have to do a whole your your whole life, your whole project or process has to be Christian based or gospel based. Because a lot of us work at jobs that's not Christian based or Christian based or gospel based, but yet we're quote unquote Christians or we're, or, or 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 we're believers, but we work in an atmosphere that with people that are not. So that's just like a job too. Are we supposed to quit and only work for the Christian barbershop or the Christian uh, McDonald's or the Christian Walmart or the Christian uh, lawyers or the Christian doctors? Like what? That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. And I think that's where everybody start crashing and burning. That's when it just don't make sense. It's because you try to move your whole life instead of just living the life, walking the life. You try to put everything around you based on that type of situation or that type of a religion or that type of knowledge or that type of uh, that type of uh, atmosphere. And that atmosphere is cool, but it's not cool at all times. You can't keep getting punched in your face and not punch back. Like somebody knocking you out. You hear, turn the other cheek. All right. That's two cheeks right there. Three, four, five. There's no more cheeks left. You're supposed to just run away because you're a Christian or you're gospel or or you're um you're um what or I don't even know I don't even know what y'all want to call it. Or you're a believer? You're supposed to run away from that? Oh well, he's he's a believer, so he's not gonna punch me because that's not what they believe in. They made they made the believers soft. Like we supposed to just take anything from anybody. No, that's not the case. But if you try to base your life base all around that, then you're gonna be in some trouble. Because they're gonna keep testing you over and over. You keep brushing it off. So now everybody's stepping on you. Now you're a doormat. Now you've been disrespected and all this, this, and this. When you gonna stand up as a believer and still let people know, yeah, I'm a believer, but at the same time, I'm gonna put you down. Like, chill out. I'm a human being just like you are. Don't talk to me like that. Don't walk over me like that. Don't disrespect me like that. Like, who you think this is? How can you do that? How can you do that with when following a when following a religion that limits you to be able to do anything of that nature? Period. Like, how can me? How can me be a light in a dark room if I was told to not go to the dark? I was told, don't go to them clubs because that's not where you're supposed to be. Don't go to the streets because that's not where you're supposed to be. Don't go to da 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 Okay, well, if that's all dark and you want me to be in all these light spots, I can't be in a light in a dark room. I can't show the darkness that it's possible to still live a good life over here. It's possible for me to be around y'all but not smoke, drink, and party like y'all. But I can still go to the party. I can still go to the party. It's not a problem. I can go to the party. I can go to the bar. I can go to wherever I want to go. I don't have to interact or enter. I don't have to do the things you guys do while you're there, but I can still be there, though. But we was told that we're not allowed to go to the period. Oh, that's not an atmosphere. It's because of the fact that you're not strong enough. You're not strong enough. Your energy is not there. Your energy is not there. You don't have enough gigawatts to actually be in that type of atmosphere because that it will it will manipulate you. It will change who you are. That's what will happen. That's the problem. Is when you step into a club and then all of a sudden, now you starting to look like the club person because you're doing what everybody else is doing. Now 
not being a drinker, now you drink. Not being a smoker, now you smoke. Because they power overtook you. So, yeah, you shouldn't be there because you're not strong enough to be there. Because you're not standing on solid ground. Me, on the other hand, I can go anywhere. You can't, you can't manipulate me in no way, shape, or form. Period. It took a minute to get here, but you can't do that. Period. I could be wherever, and you cannot manipulate me to do whatever you're doing. But we was raised not to do it. Oh, well, you, we, you shouldn't be in those situations. Um, if we read in the Bible, it, he was uh, walking with the whoremongers. He was walking with the, the fiends and the drug addicts. He was talking to all of them. We can't talk to him if we're being told not to go out there and talk to him. That's a whole other segment in itself. I was just talking about from the I was just talking about from the music standpoint. Like I'm already 15 minutes in, so I probably I'm only I'm pro I can't even play nothing. I'm sorry. I, I had to get y'all on another joint. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, man, that's the reason why I do positive music, uplifting music, or uplifting energy. That's what I bring. I bring energy to the table, and people hate the fact that I I collide I collab with people who cuss. I collab with people who do total opposite of what I do. Don't judge the song based off of the people who are on the song. Period. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know. You don't know what they've been through. You just don't. You know what I'm saying? And don't judge me based off of what his verse said. Period. If he said, F the cops, boom, boom, boom. And I said, man, hey, boom, boom, hey, hey. I'm I'm out here iced out, whatever, whatever, following, following, doing what I'm supposed to do, trying to stay clean, whatever, whatever, whatever. Listen to what I said first before you start judging me based off of what this dude said. Like, don't don't do that. Like, I hate that. I hate when somebody hears, uh, like my like my queen for example. She don't she's she's not all she's not uh she's not uh uh how I want to say it. She she uh, she cusses on songs sometimes. Uh, that's just who she is as an individual. That doesn't make the song. That, that, you can't look at her and be like, oh, but she's terrible. You've never been in her situation. You've never, you never been in an atmosphere with her and see what kind of energy that she brings to the table. After you sit in the atmosphere, you're like, yo, she's one of the coolest people on the planet. If she said a cuss word, she probably meant to say that cuss word at that time because that's how she felt. Write down what you wanted to write down and say what you needed to say. You don't got to edit it out. If that's what you want to say, go ahead. Cool. I'm not going to say it. That's just me. But you can't judge me based off of her. And you can't judge her based off of me. Like, yo, that's what I'm saying. I'm a chameleon. I can hop into anything. You got a whole bunch of cussing joints on your joint? All right, cool. I'm going to get on your track and blaze it with no cussing in it. Everybody going to be like, dang, he just got on that track and killed it. And did you notice that he didn't even cuss, though? And this verse might have been every, better than everybody else's. I wasn't trying to aim to make my verse better than everybody else's. I was just trying to make an impact. That's why I'm King Jigawak. When I land, that's just what it's going to be. It don't matter who's on the beat. I don't care who it is. You better come with your right. You better come correct. If you don't, you get smoked. That's it. That's to anybody. I don't care if you're in the industry or if you're not. If you're on the track and if it say King Jigawak on the joint, I'm telling you right now, if you didn't come in your A game, then you're going to be looking crazy because it's going to be your verse that's getting skipped over. Not mine. I'm not, I don't play that. I come and leave an impact every time. I've been doing that for years. I ain't got no soft verses, period. It don't matter how soft the beat go. I go crazy. I straight go crazy. I'm sorry, y'all can, oh, well, he sound cocky. Definitely, definitely confident in what I've been doing for years, period. I've been holding this down for a minute without cussing, holding it down. I've never got my respect. I'm demanding minds now. Demanding minds now. That's it. But anyway, like I said, like that's this segment is like I said about music. One part, one of the segments or whatever. Because this why it'd be twenty minutes, so I'm about to get up off of here. But um, um, share, comment, like, subscribe, let people know what's going on. And I hope y'all got some jewels out of the thing, uh, out of the message. Uh, just just do music the way you do music, man. The way you feel. That's it. Don't let nobody judge you based off of uh, because you said a cuss word or whatever. Up oh, here you go. Uh, I, I got people who was doing Christian rap or whatever, but now all of a sudden they start cussing or start saying nigga in their music and stuff like that. So the cats start labeling them. It's like, oh my, here they go. They're not, they're not Christian no more. So then they go, on, then they go further. And now they're saying cuss word, real cuss words, like the B word, the F word and all this. And I'm like, oh man, here we go. Boom. But how can you get mad at this dude? 
I know a lot of people who in the church who cuss more than the people outside the church. But they grounded though. I just think that people, I just think that people don't like when people cuss because it just sounds sounds harsh. Would you live in a positive life? How can something harsh like that come out your mouth? But cuss words could kill your feeling. It's definitely a feeling. And somebody cusses at somebody, you can tell that they meant that. Unless they joking around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Which I, I see on a daily basis. People just they just cuss just to cuss. You know what I'm saying? And then I say, like, well, I don't really cuss much. But the reason why I don't cuss much is because I could think of a whole bunch of other words to say besides the cuss word. And like I said, I'm a chameleon. I try to adapt to everything that I'm in. Like, I don't want to have... That's just me from my side of the desk. I just don't want to come off as cussing all the time so I can go and sit with, not the president now, but go sit with uh, Obama or go sit with any pastor or go sit with any powerful leader or whatever, whatever, because they ain't got to worry about that coming out of my mouth because that's not what I do. That's just me. I can go anywhere and be cool. Everybody else can go, but they got to watch what they say. Like, mm, mm. Mm, I got to make sure I don't go in here and cuss. Now, I was just already grounded to not do it. And I say I've never cussed before. Clearly cussed before. Clearly cussed before. Millions of times. But it was a lot of times it was for no reason. It, it, I was just doing it because that's what everybody else was doing. Like, it was, I had no reason. I was just doing it. So, like I said, shout out to the ones who cuss. Shout out to the ones who don't. At the end of the day, I love the ones who cuss. And I love the ones who don't. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's... Whatever anybody else wants to do, it has nothing to do with anything. But people just got to stop judging people's lifestyle because you can cuss all day, but at the same time have the most genuine heart on the planet. Period. Like, we got to stop judging people based off of what they say. Like, you haven't even been around this person. You haven't been around me. You can't judge me based off of what you've seen or what you heard. Come sit with me. Come sit with the queen. Period. You see her, she you see her, oh, she's smoking or she's drinking or whatever, whatever. Oh, she probably wild and crazy. Come sit with her and find out that she's not crazy at all unless it comes to y'all doing something to me. Then she at your head. Period. At your head. Some did something to her sister or something to her niece. And she at your head. That's the side you don't want to see. And that ain't got nothing to do with drunk or nothing like that. She'll beat you sobered up. That's it. Like stop, like we, we, you just people just gotta stop. You just gotta stop. You gotta stop. All that judging stuff. You gotta stop, man. Mainly talking to the Christians, cause the Christians be so quick to judge people, so so quick to judge people on how they respond or how they react or how they are and this this and this. And you got to stop, bro. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. You don't know that person's background. Stop judging them. You don't know their background. You don't know their background. Stop judging. Stop judging. They trying to do better. I hear it all the time. Man, you remember, I remember when your queen used to be out here doing da 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 She don't do that now, but I remember back then, like, man, you you changed her or you did some energy, and man, she's not the same person. I thank you because she's not the same person because I remember when she used to be out here beating people down with brooms and knocking cats out, pulling cats out of vans and doing all that stuff. I didn't heard so many stories about what my baby used to do. I'm like, What? I'm like, dang, if I would have known that before, I'd have been like, man, I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> but at the same time, she don't act like that now. Unless you do something crazy to me or something crazy to somebody that she in love with, like her sister or her family and them, then you in trouble. Then I could see why that broom came out and you got knocked out with it. I could clearly see it. For real. So I'm going to do what I can to make sure that she don't go back to that. <laughs> but at the same time, if, if she releases... What can I do? Just sit back and watch you get stomped out. And yeah, I'm going to let her do it. Because I don't fight like that. Unless it goes down. Somebody do something to her. I'm throwing the whole house at you. That's it. That's why I try my best not to get into altercations and stuff like that. That's why I be wise in my movements. That's it. But anyway, I'm at 25 minutes. I ain't even want to be this long. I'm so sorry. But I'm here rambling. Beautiful Sunday morning. About to sit here and watch this game. Do the recap. I got to go to work at 4 o'clock. So... I'll be back in a couple minutes, man. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to play a song. I might just do an exclusive. Exclu yeah, I'm going to do an exclusive video for y'all right after this, before the game come on, and just play a couple joints real quick, or some quick joints. I ain't gonna, can't give you all the jewels, but I'm going to give you like one, one full joint 
but I'm gonna, uh, no, not full. I'm gonna give you probably like a verse and a half, but I'm gonna play the intros on here too. It's behind the desk. <laughs> 